Good morning, Facebook. I like to talk to you, and I know you like to hear faith, because faith pleases God, and I think faith pleases you and pleases me. And faith is the answer to change any situation we face. You say, no matter how bad it is, no matter how bad it is, faith can change. And so we're going to look today at kinds of faith. There's revelation faith, there's human faith, there's religious faith, there's faith in experiences, there's intellectual faith, there's temporary faith, and revelation faith. Do you think that's cool? I do. I think it's very cool. And Matthew 13, 20 through 21 says, But he who received the seed on stony places, this is he who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet he has no root in himself, so it only endures for a while. Mm. So faith, yeah, temporary faith is not enough. This is so good. But revelation faith, God faith, revelation faith is based on what God says. I like that. Believing and acting on what he says, says without relying on our senses. Revelation faith or God faith affects the visible but does not originate with the visible. It is a result of the word quickened by the Holy Spirit. Sometimes when you read your Bible, do you notice some things just stand out? That's the Holy Spirit quickening. And this is the faith that saves you. This is the faith that gets you born again. And I want you to send your prayer request to MarilynAndSarah.org. I really want to hear from you. So please, please send your prayer request. MarilynAndSarah.org. Got it? I believe you do. Okay. And Ephesians 2, 8. I like Ephesians. Most people, most Christians like Ephesians. For by grace you have been saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. And I think when you get born again, you're just shocked at how good God is. God is so good. Sometimes I think we have a bad image of God. Faith expects miracle working power of God to operate. Don't you love that? I get up expecting certain things every day and new things. Faith, oh, this faith is authoritative. Winds obey. Diseases obey. They flee. Mountains move. The dead rise. You say, wow, what a faith. It can come as a gift. A miracle is about to happen. It is creative. Ooh, this gets even better. It multiplies loaves and tells you about walking on water. And so, faith. Ooh, listen to me. You need this. I need this. Hebrews 11.3 says, By faith we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible. Wow. So when we look at this faith, we think, wow, it takes me into a whole nother realm. Yeah, it does. And folks, faith works. I know. And I remember when I first started believing God for things, and I began to see them happen. Nations began to open. God began to talk to my spirit. I didn't audibly hear, but I heard in my heart. And that's been a wonderful thing for me for many years. I'm very old, but I'm very strong in faith. And I want you to be strong in faith. So don't forget Hebrews 11.3. By faith, we understand that the worlds were prepared by the word of God so that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible. 
Mm. Faith is a big, big thing. So get up in the morning, have certain scriptures that you speak, and start speaking faith to your day before it starts. And then don't try to remedy everything after it starts. Begin with faith. And I believe that's what you're going to do. You're going to get up. Good morning, God. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Holy Spirit. And I say, and I believe you should if you are born again, this is your beloved Marilyn Hickey. And these are the things I am believing for and speaking. So don't forget to give us your prayer requests. We want to hear you from you. So send your prayer requests, I'm telling you again, to MarilynAndSarah.org. God loves you, we love you, and we want to see and hear that God does wonderful things in your life. So remember that, and remember that faith, the foundations of your faith, God himself is reliable. He gives us our faith. That's so interesting to me. And sometimes I need to go over these things in the morning because I've got a whole day that's going to be busy. And John 15, 16 says, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. That's the foundation of faith. So you start, and he is faithful whether you are or not. So let's know in our hearts that God keeps his word. I want you to say that. God keeps his word. And Psalm 119, 142 through 144, your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and your law is truth. Trouble and anguish have come upon me, yet your commandments are my delight. Your testimonies are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. So what are you starting your day with? Faith. What, is it, what pleases God? Faith. What helps you? Faith is so important. And I like Psalm 56, 3 through 4. Psalm 56, 3 through 4. When I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. In God, whose word I praise. In God, I have put my trust. I shall not be afraid. Say that. I shall not be afraid. Say it again. It doesn't hurt you. I shall not be afraid. What can a mere man do to me? You know, I have God. Oh, this just even gets better. Are you ready? Are you ready for more? I'm ready to give you more. Hebrews 10, 23, and I'm ready to receive more. Let us hold fast the confession of our faith without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. I'm very old. And I have I met Jesus early. And I can tell you, he is faithful. He does the supernatural. You know, he called me to go to nations. And I have been in 139. You say, are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm telling you the truth. Put my hand on my heart. Isaiah 55, 11. So will be. My word be, which goes forth from my mouth, it will not return to me empty without accomplishing what I desire and without succeeding in the matter for which I sent it. He is a faith God. Put your hand on your heart again and say, I know. He is a faith God. I have faith in him. You say, well, I don't know if I do. Well, when you start speaking it, it starts manifesting. And you say, how do you know I'm older than you? I'm in my 90s, and I know how this works. Second Timothy 2.13 If we are faithless, 
he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Ah, this is so wonderful, it just even gets better. Deuteronomy 7, 9. 9. Know therefore that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God. You say, how do I know? Because I've lived longer than you, and I have found him to be faithful over and over. Oh, my. You know, and when I got involved in taking hold of the word, you know, women weren't involved. And they weren't supposed to do anything. But God didn't say that. And I've done everything. I've had meetings with a million people. You say you're exaggerating. No, I'm telling you the truth. We have pictures of it. He, has, he makes a covenant. And his loving kindness. His loving kindness. He's not mean. He's loving, goes to a thousand generation with those who love him and keep his commandments. Are you getting a hold of this? I want you to. I want you to be a faith person. I don't want you to say I'm too old, too young, too anything. Just do it, okay? And know, again, Deuteronomy 7, 9, that the Lord your God, he is God, I'm repeating it, the faithful God who keeps his covenant and his loving kindness to a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments. Lamentations. You said Lamentations, where is it? It's in the Bible. A lot of people don't like it. I like it. And three, Lamentations 3, 22 through 23. The Lord loving kindness indeed never ceases, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Oh, I love that. Every morning they're new. Great is your faithfulness. Now remember, we like to hear from you. So contact us, send your prayer request to Marilyn and Sarah dot org. You know, isn't it wonderful when your family comes along with you and God says it's for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And that's how my house got in. I said it and you can say it and you can believe it and you can receive it. Mm -hmm.